Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. If you wanna be notified every time I post a new video, you definitely wanna do that so you don't miss out. In today's video, I'm doing things to do when you're bored at home, you can't leave the house, this whole quarantine thing inspired me to do this video. So hopefully this video can help you out. I'm gonna try to give you guys ideas of things to do that don't involve going on your phone because staying on social media and being on your phone all the time, that's not good for you. So I wrote a list of things you can do that don't involve going on your phone and these are really fun things that I've been doing. Okay, so my first idea is since we're like stuck at home, we can still go outside like in the backyard or you can go around your house and just like take pictures. You can have a photo shoot or you can like take pictures of other things and like try out a camera or something, get into like photography, try new things. And yeah, now it's like the perfect time you can like grow your Instagram and just like take pictures all the time. And honestly, this takes a while, like trying to get good pictures and like getting ready for the pictures and like editing the pictures. This can be really fun if you just like take pictures of your family members or like whoever you're stuck with or quarantined with, your friends, whoever it is, you can like take pictures of them have like a photo shoot and it can be really fun even if you're just taking pictures of like nature and like birds and stuff. Okay, so moving on to the next one. This is one of my favorite things to do. Just like paint a picture. You can draw too, but painting is really fun and you don't have to take it seriously. Just like do whatever you want. And once you're done with the pictures, you can like hang them in your room and it makes like cute room decor. Okay, so this next one is pretty productive. I think this is important to like go through all your old clothes. Get rid of them, try things on your closet that you don't like and you don't wear it anymore. You can like donate them or you can even sell them online right now. You can use like Poshmark, Vinted, Depop, all of those and maybe even make some money while getting rid of clothes. Okay, so my next idea is to have like a self-care day. You can do face masks. a bath honestly though taking a bath is so therapeutic and right now you have all the time so I would take a bath because it's pretty relaxing and honestly like it relieves stress and like you just don't think about anything you're just sitting there by yourself you can do your nails you can do your eyebrows I think right now nowhere is open like no salons are open so all of that stuff you're gonna have to do anyway so just like make it fun and yeah, that doesn't involve going on your phone and it's important to take care of yourself. Okay, so this next idea you guys might not like, but reading books is actually fun if you like choose a book that you actually like and it doesn't have to be like school and like textbooks and like things that you have to read. If you choose like self-help books, I really like those. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys a couple books that I really like. Well, I like this book, it's called Crushing It by Gary V. And it's like talking about how you can like use media to like make money. So that's pretty important. You can like learn lessons and stuff and it tells stories of like other people who did it. So yeah, this is a really good book. Got this book. Like these are really good books. I think they're super interesting. Like people's success stories are really interesting to me. This book, this is a really famous one, Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't read it, you probably should read it. And now is a perfect time. I'm pretty sure that you can order books on eBay and Amazon still. Or like if you already have books that you haven't started reading, now's a good time to start. Oh, and I also have this book. This is really cute. It just has like a whole bunch of little quotes in it. It's called Daily Reflections for Highly Effective People. It's really cool it just has quotes on it so it's really not that hard to read okay so my next advice is to start a youtube channel honestly you don't have to make money from it you can just have fun doing it and now's the perfect time since you have like so much time 
if you don't have a camera i'm pretty sure the iphone cameras are really good quality still just get like a light or put it in front of your window your iphone or your camera and that's really good lighting so yeah if you've always wanted to start a youtube channel right now is the perfect time okay so the next thing is to go outside you can go in your backyard i'm pretty sure you can go to like parks and stuff where people don't go and like social distance i'm pretty sure some parks are still open so i've been going for runs i've been going for walks and yeah that normally takes me like an hour that's pretty fun i go with my sister i go with my brother and yeah my next idea is to just start listening to music and like create a playlist of songs you like this could take you like two hours and honestly it's pretty fun to just listen to music. Go on Spotify, Apple Music, just start listening to music and like making a playlist. So when you get out of this you can have like songs for the gym. Okay so since the gyms are closed another idea that I have is to just do at home workouts. You can look up videos on YouTube, set out a yoga mat and like just start doing some at home workouts. That's pretty productive and it keeps you in shape and it could be fun if you're like listening to music and you make it fun. I go to a field and I run like a mile so that's what I'm doing right now. Honestly it gets you out of the house and you don't go crazy and you're exercising which is really good. And other than exercising, it makes you feel good too after you're running. It feels like you did something productive today. Also, I really like just listening to music. And running is fun for me, especially going with a friend. So that's an idea if you don't know what to do. You can even run around your neighborhood. Like you don't have to drive to like a field like I am. So my next idea is to cook something new bake something new, go on Pinterest and look up recipes, try healthy alternatives, and just like try a whole bunch of different recipes. That could be fun. And I feel like that normally takes like two hours to do. You can do this with like your family or like your siblings. I really wanna try that recipe on TikTok, like the whipped coffee. So maybe I'm gonna have to try that out, but it looks pretty cool. go on tiktok you can go on youtube you can even like go on the internet and just search recipes my next idea isn't that fun but it's productive clean your room clean your car clean your bathroom just like start cleaning okay so my next idea does involve using your phone but it could also be your computer since we can't visit family members and go to our friend's house you can facetime them you can skype them you can have zooms just call family members call your friends and if you haven't talked to certain friends in a while now is the perfect time to like call them and like catch up on everything that could take a while if you haven't talked to them in a while and since we're all in quarantine they're most likely at home bored so i'm pretty sure they're not going to care if you call them and like take up their time Okay, so this one might involve people, but if you have family members, you should play board games, play card games, all of that. If you don't have anyone, you can always go on iMessage games and just like play with your friends or your family members. Or if you don't have any friends or family members, just like post on your social media and try to like start games with people. Okay, so this is if all else fails because this is probably like the least fun thing you could do but it's pretty important and it's kind of productive. Go through all your emails, delete them, unsubscribe from them. So you don't get any further messages. You can just like unsubscribe from a whole bunch of different companies that you don't care about anymore. And then you won't get any junk emails. And also if you unsubscribe from like stores and stuff, you'll be less tempted to shop online. So that saves you money. If you want it to be more fun while you're like deleting emails and like clearing up your mailbox and just cleaning your phone out from old pictures. You can listen to music and try to make it more fun. Okay, so hopefully I gave you guys ideas of things that are fun to do that don't involve social media because going on social media all the time, it's not good for you. And I really want you guys to be like happy and doing things. And you guys can do these things when you're bored at home. It doesn't have to be quarantine. Honestly, I do these things when we're not in quarantine. I'm always taking pictures, painting, organizing i do all that stuff even though when we're not stuck at home if you guys like this video make sure you give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i hope this video is really helpful and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video